Previously on BlazBlue Continuum Shift Extended. Jeez, that's a long name. I was just joking! Oh no, poor Bang. You can't talk about your junk to me. I'm just a little kid, damn it. Perv. Everybody look at the perv! Oh no. What are you talking about? My heart belongs to a woman of sufficient years, the incomparable Miss Lychee. Huh? It's the boobies, isn't it? Isn't it? Curse <laughs> you, Racula! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Henchman number three. Why are you crying? And who the world is Racula? <laughs> I was drinking water when he said that. Oh, I should have read ahead. And now back to the... This, this is the right one, right? Right game? For sure this time? Yeah? Okay, good. Alright, cool. And now back to the sequel. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Squatchkins of all ages, the likes or not, I am Pump Squatch. Hello and welcome back to Braze Brew Continuum Shift. Extend, and that's about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it has been a very... Well, it's been a fairly long time, I guess, since we last recorded. The last time we uploaded one of these, it was about three weeks ago, and that is, uh, yeah, it's... Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to come back and record things for a while, but, uh, yeah, I've been very busy with work. They've had me working basically as a full-timer, even though I'm only working part-time. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the hours, but, you know... One day off every few days is, uh, not enough rest in retail, you know what I'm saying? It's just not. But anyways, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Today's episode is going to focus on Relius. However, it would appear we have one character whose story is not yet complete. That's right, Platinum, that's right. This episode even, ain't even gonna be about Relius fully. He's not even gonna have his own episode. He has to share it with his little turd mouth right here. This little half foul mouth child is going to be sharing an episode with Relius because the way that Relius is as a dad, he doesn't deserve his own full episode yet until he's suffered through only one ending. So we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> I may be I may be taking this a little too personal, aren't I? Jeez. I feel like I don't like Relius even more than I don't like Hazuma. Or, or even Jin at this point. I think I found my new punching bag, guys. Brand new, fresh out the shop. But yes, we're gonna go ahead and cover the uh, blah. We're gonna go ahead and cover the comment section really quickly. So if you want to go ahead and skip over that to the timestamp right here, feel free to do so. But for the time being, let's go ahead and get into some comments. So, first and foremost. I'm <clears throat> glad you enjoyed the last episode so much, by the way, guys. Really am happy because I had so much fun with that. <laughs> Freaking... Oh my gosh, it's... <laughs> we had Hakuman just full-on punt Platinum <laughs> into the... <laughs> like it's on Smash Ultimate or something. <laughs> just... <laughs> found another orphan. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Valkenhayn. I, I loved what we made Valkenhayn into. <laughs> just... Just kicking orphans into the stratosphere. <laughs> what is... Okay, we need to do, like, a breakdown of the, like, universe that I've made within this game series. We just need to. It's 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 too much. We got to. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. First and foremost, um... Josh Blackwell said, If there isn't a t-shirt of Luna screaming, Curse you, Racula, or Bang covering his crotch saying, I fear for my masculinity. Somewhere I will be disappointed in the internet. I will make it myself. If it does not exist, I will make it myself. I'm not even joking. I use a... <laughs> Alright, so to stream, I use something called Streamlabs OBS, which uh, you could argue whether they're like morally good or not. That's completely fair and fine in certain aspects. But they basically have their own sort of website that you could kind of builds your brand off of. And on it, you can make apparel. You see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this? On that website, you can make t-shirts. So if they do not exist in the wild already, I will bring them into existence myself. I will Google this later and I will find out personally. Future Pump Squatch, Google it, 
find out and put it right here if they exist or not. And if they don't, they just don't exist yet. I will make it myself. <laughs> you know what? Actually, we can design them in the Discord or we can even design them on screen. That would be cool. That would be a lot of fun, actually. No, no, no. This will be a Discord ex exclusive recording of content. We need to. We need to do this. I'm sorry, I just love it too much. It's so dumb and funny, I, I I have to. Oh no, I know just the image. I know just the chibi image of Bang to do so. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on, but I will bring it into existence myself if it doesn't exist already. Josh Blackwell also said, I wonder if someone has made a montage of all the insults Luna has said over the years. We definitely need a tier list of her insults though. Because her tier list, her tier list, her insults, they hit, ha they hit fast and they hit hard sometimes. So these insults can come from anywhere and they can sucker punch you or just like hook you or whatever. But dang, she's thrown a lot of insults. So that would be like a one hour compilation for sure, at least. No context given, just insults. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, it would probably take a long while to put a compilation like that together just because you know she has had so many insults over the years. So you've got to basically filter through all of the games to find them. Maybe even the first one. I'm not sure. It's been a while. I just think it would take a long time to put together, but it would be so worth it. Maybe. I don't know if I have the time, though. Maybe I could pay someone to do that. <laughs> isn't that isn't that a good use of my money? God. Okay. Uh, Demthia Guillermo said, Like she's still single because she hasn't gotten over her previous relationship. I feel so stupid for not remembering that. Just, that's so true. Uh, it, it does take a long time to get through the feels and all that. Because, especially when you're so close to someone, the closer you are to someone, the longer it takes. And it could take years to get over losing someone that's super close to you. It could take legit years. Something that I'm sure a lot of us have been through in life, and something I'm sure that those who haven't will one day understand, unfortunately. But it's a part of life, and it's a part of growing, and, you know, growth as a person. You know, all that stuff. All that good, tragic stuff. Top tier waifu still. Absolutely top tier waifu. Uh, he also said, never trust Relius Clover, remember Carl calls, calls Nirvana his sister. What do you think happened to the mother? Well, to put it simply... Family dinner has never been more awkward and silent. Moving on. He also said, Blasmooth's story never makes sense in the moment, only in retrospect does it start to make sense, and only after you learn something new later on. Yeah, that's a very interesting thing about Blasmooth, is that it has an incredibly interesting story, an incredibly interesting universe in general, in fact. But the story... It's not that it's convoluted, convoluted it's that it's more of there's a lot that goes on that at the time can seem random but until you either play a, the other character's story or even another game down the line you won't know what it is you won't know what's going on but it can seem random but it has a meaning it has a purpose and it's so so good and so interesting that it's like uh razzle actually did say quite a while back when we did collaborate, how he believes that Blasblue is perhaps one of the most interesting, if not the most interesting fictional universe that is in media. And I'm not going to say it is, but I definitely understand why he thinks that because of the characters, because of the story, the universe and all that that's in these games. It's really interesting. It's super interesting and super good. So I full on understand where he's coming from with it. And I, to a, an extent, definitely believes, definitely believe it has to be up there. It really does. Uh, Demothy Guillermo, Guillermo also said, remember, Kokonoe is Jubei's daughter. Yeah, I had a brain fart last episode. Demothy Guillermo also said, Bang will be one of the biggest MVPs in the next two games, just you wait. In my heart, he's already an MVP. He makes every moment brighter, he's just so anime, and come on. We love Bang. Bang is just so anime and so, in a sense, manly that we can aspire to be just like him. He is the ninja of love, the hero of Kagutsuchi. 
And we love love and ninjas. Yes, that is Bane, Shishigami. And last but not least, and probably the comment that I'll spend the most time on because I have a problem. Demothy Guillermo said, I didn't know you played Vanguard. I loved playing that game with my brother. Yeah, uh, I've been playing that game since pretty much the moment it came to the States. I go to basically, okay, go ahead and skip to the timestamp on the screen if you don't want to hear me yammer on because I will yammer on if you guys let me. I love Vanguard. It's like, it's my favorite card game and one of my favorite things out there. I just, it's so much fun to me. I've been playing it since it came to the States, which is well over a decade ago. I play all three formats. G, V, and D. Yes, they all rhyme. I pretty much go to BCS with some friends pretty much every year if I can. And last year I almost talked. I could have talked. If it wasn't for two things. One, I had a misplay. Yeah, it's a little bit more luck based, but heck, it's interesting. It's fun. And I love that way more than just being locked out of being able to play for 15 turns straight. And while it's technically not a high number, it's kind of strange that there are that many times they put boobs on dragons. I may have a problem, but I don't want to address it because if I do, then that means I'll just have to fix it later. All in all, long story short, it's my favorite card game for sure. I really do love and enjoy it. And I honestly considering uploading content to the channel of, Va of Cardfight Vanguard just because I love it that much. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead. How much time did I waste on that? I don't know. I don't know how much time I wasted on that one comment. <laughs> oh man, anyways. Thank you for sitting through all that. Thank you for sitting through the comment section or just skipping over it. I understand if you skipped it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get back into story. Trinity Platinum, let us begin. All right. That's what Master G Okay, skip, 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 skip. Oh, wait, never mind. Now what I meant to do to get the canon ending, we have to select the first option. But since we're going to start off this episode with the bad ending, we're going to go ahead and say, let's choose the second option. Yeah. Do I want to save? Of course I want to save. I'm looking to make Relius miserable. What do I look like? A scrub? You're darn right. Let's follow short shorts over there. Got it. Wait, short shorts? <laughs> Technically, I guess? Platinum keeps a close watch on the young boy and strange doll that accompanies him, but loses them seemingly in the blink of an eye. Hmm. She looked around, frantic, trying to pick up the trail. When she finally calms down, Platinum realizes she's wandered out into a strange realm. She's not quite sure how she came to be here. What the? Where are we, Senna? This is freaky. What the heck? Why there, kids? Shut up! Mm, is it a circus or something? It looks like. Where did that kid run off to? I mean, given his attire, it kind of makes sense for the whole circus theme, but why are we here? I'm not sure. Uh, why were we chasing him again? I don't even remember. It's been a few weeks. I don't know. It's been like a month. I got all distracted by that doll thing. You there! Do you have some business with my sister? Uh-oh. Whoa. Man, what you doing over here looking for my sister, man? It's my sister. She mine. Say, yeah, I tell you, mine. Mine better than glue. We're glued together like we're glue, man. Okay, I'm not starting this right now. Just fight. What the hell? You scared the crap out of me. I didn't mean to startle you, but, well, you <laughs> do seem a bit fishy, following us and all. Yeah, that's true. Is this about my sister? Tell me the truth. Maybe. Sister. Is he talking about that doll? Careful, maybe bonkers. Mm. So, uh, that doll's your sis, huh? Luna, you're literally talking to yourself. I understand you're talking to a person inside of yourself that is also you, but not you at the same time. Oh gosh, this is complicated to explain to anyone. But you're still technically talking to yourself, so I wouldn't see that. See, I wouldn't say that he seems bonkers when you're like that. This doll is... Is? Aha! This is about Ada! That means you must know something about her! We know far too much, and honestly, we're very sorry. Don't worry, we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna make your dad very sad next up. I promise, promise. Tell me everything you know about her or else. I'm warning you, I'm not gonna hold back just because you're a child. 
Just because I'm a child? Have you looked in a mirror lately, Tor? <laughs> not wrong. Technically not wrong. Luna, this isn't the time for trading insults. Just get ready to fight. All right, let's do this. Come on. The will of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action. Kid fight! <laughs> ah. Get it! Strong! Oh, it's hot! Counter! Yes! It's my turn! Oh! Faster! Finish! Faster! Where are you? I should not have won that. I should not have won that one Ow. bit. <laughs> You're pretty impressive. I shouldn't have let my guard down on account of you being a little girl. No, I just screwed up. I just realized. The reason it's gonna be a bad ending. The reason it's gonna be a bad ending is because. No, why am I so stupid? Uh, I knew it. I knew this was too good to be true. Reason it's gonna be a bad ending. Relius Clover is gonna come take Ada. He still wins! No, I got outplayed! Dang it! Ah! I got outplayed! Having used the last of his strength to f in the fight, Carl collapses. Got absolutely destroyed, by the way. Nirvana sweeps in and catches the boy before he he can hit the ground. Her empty doll's eyes stare blankly at Platinum. I guess Luna wins. Oh, my head. I feel dizzy. Oh my gosh, the voice changes the appearance so much. <laughs> Wait. When Luna's talking, it's just like, oh, it's just a girl in a cute costume. She's like, cute girl, bet the area go. You have a good day. Goodbye. But when Luna, when Senna is talking, it's just like, I, am I being deceived here? <laughs> like, what's going on? I, I usually expect this at anime conventions, but in my fighting games now? I understand it's a trope, but yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Okay, moving back to it. Moving back to it. What gives? get knocked around that bad but i feel so tired the heck the children are they like this because they fought nirvana what the what Celica and i sealed you away nirvana years ago how can this little boy huh hmm? <sighs> why am i dominant i wasn't trying to surface right now uh-oh Luna's and Senna's souls are now nowhere to be are nowhere to be found. The woman known as Trinity has taken control of the bo of the body, albeit unwill unwittingly. She looks around. Nirvana stands frozen in time. Carl still draped atop one massive arm. She seems even more like a statue than usual. What the heck? No, there he is. Oh, okay. What a savage little fight <laughs> that was, huh? Hard to believe two kids could dole out that much whoop ass. Technically, yeah. And I'm I'm not saying I'm glad Hazma's the one here. I'm just It'd be worse if it was their dad, if it was his dad, Carl, or uh it just would have been worse if it was Relius, you know? Yuki Terumi. Yeah, Terumi's not good. He's not good news. Ah, you remember? Long time no see, Trinity Glassfield. I hate that I like your fashion sense. Don't call me that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you prefer the Platinum Alchemist? Too formal? How about just Trinity? If we're gonna be all chummy, then go ahead and just call me Hazuma. I want to call you kicked in the nuts. This strange place. This darkness. Is this your doing? Uh... In a word, yes. But it'd be remiss of me to take all the credit. Huh? The 13th hierarchical city of Kagutsuchi is currently under the dominion of Izayoi. Izayoi? The Armagus that conceals everything within its shadow. Don't tell me you- Oh. You guessed it. Takamagahara can't see us for shit right now. Oh. Even the master unit itself can't find us to intervene. Of course, its wielder is a bit of a noob, so time is of the essence. <sighs> Tazuma. Gotta say, I'm surprised you're kicking around Kagutsuchi. 
Stubborn little wraith, ain't ya? <sighs> Whoa! If looks could kill, right? You really hate me, don't you? <laughs> Azuma looks to the now frozen Nirvana. Sealing something away is so half assed, Trinity. Someone of your caliber could have just destroyed it completely. But you didn't. Couldn't bring yourself to take out your old war buddy? Or maybe. Huh? <laughs> oh, maybe you fell in love with it. What? Huh? Nirvana, she... During the war, she protected Celica. She's one of us, Hazuma. Oh... That... That kind of hurts. One of us? <laughs> oh, wait. You're serious. You actually thought this tool, this weapon to be used and discarded, was one oh of the gosh. team? Oh, shut up already. Take back your words, you vile traitor. Traitor, huh? Somebody's calling like she sees him. But hey, takes one to know one, right? What are you talking about? I seem to remember a certain someone pitying this so-called vile traitor and killing one of her friends. What? <sighs> That's a twist. Newsflash, Trinity Glassfield. Your kindness hurts people, kills people. Wait, what? Hold on, what's going on? No! Ouroboros! No! <sighs> A single chain materializes from the void above and, sna and snakes down onto the unsuspecting Platinum. Hazuma begins laughing at the bound girl. <laughs> you used to be so sympathetic. What happened? You honestly think I have even a shred of it left? Positive? None for you. What if I beg? Oh, Trinity, I really need your help. Kick him in the nuts. Stop it. Now? Do you hate me? <laughs> You're way too soft, woman. I warned you. Yes, I did. Time after time. Careful, Trinity. That luck of yours is going to run out, Trinity. Consider the consequences, Trinity. And the, uh... The definition is not really doing him any favors here, is it? But don't worry, I'm not going to kill you. Not just yet. <sighs> mm. The chains wrapped around Platinum's small body start to move. They drag her ever so slowly. No! Stop this! Azuma watches her vanish, giggling all the while. This has been an awesome continuum shift, Trinity! Really top drawer stuff! And I think you're Dang gonna it. make one hell of a catalyst for Kusanagi! <laughs> you little... You're looking pretty beat up, and I hope that it gets worse for you. You keep terror me, please! The darkness engulfs what is left of Platinum, leaving nothing in sight. Shrouded in a blackness darker than she ever known, all Trinity can do is listen to the heavy clanking of her chains and Hazuma's footfalls growing more and more distant as he leaves her. Jeez, that was dramatic! That was dramatic! Well... Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Oh, all three of them were talking for that! <laughs> Greetings, lost children. Hey, Kokonoe, been a while. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. Uh-huh. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children. Okay, if I've been through this before. Yeah, 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 I looked up a guide, so what? Lost child of the day, 
You may enter. There we go. Let's see. We'll just be one of them or three of them. What the? Is she flipping me off? What the? She's flipping me off. You little turd. I should really just call in Valkenhayn right now. You're still technically an orphan. <laughs> hey, show some respect, runt. You start snoring as soon as you get here? Kick her. <laughs> Bam. Huh? Uh? What the fuck? Works every time. <laughs> ah, yes. The ultimate alarm clock. Punched in the nose. <laughs> did, did you just kick Luna, you harpy? Uh? <laughs> That's totally gonna bruise. Good job, Professor Child Abuse. Maybe she didn't kick hard enough. Hmm. Luna, this woman looks like she knows where to hide bodies. Uh. Let's just quiet down. <laughs> totally knows where to hide bodies, indeed. <laughs> it's not my fault you triggered the bad ending. Sooner you shut up, the sooner I drop some knowledge and kick your scrawny ass back out the door. Pearl of Wisdom the first. Wake the hell up so I don't have to kick you. Fair enough. Huh? What the hell are you going on about? Are you <laughs> stupid? Retarded? Can't say that. You want to die? You little bitch. Ho 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 ho! Where the hell are we, huh? You slipped Luna and Mickey so you could bring her down to your lair and do all sorts of kinky whoa, 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 whoa! I can see it in your deviant eyes, you crazy broad. Whoa, 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 Luna, whoa! Easy. Huh? I'm feeling sleepy again. Please, make them shut up. But <laughs> Just the way they fell over. I love it. At least I'll get to kick her again. <laughs> Oh, hey, Trinity. Roll. Damn, why'd I wait? <laughs> Didn't line up with what the, the text on the screen was, but you know what? I think it fits better. I'm terribly sorry about that. Oh. So, you're the big boss, huh? Looks like. I suppose I should introduce myself properly, Miss Kokonoe. The My name is Trinity Glassfield. The pose. I know why it. The kawaii anime pose. <laughs> we have met before, come to think of it. But you were so young, you probably don't remember a thing. It's vague, but I remember a bit. A pleasure to see you again in that case. At the moment, I'm making do within a small corner of Platinum's mind. Squeezed in under Luna and Senna's souls. So, you're squatting in there, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Jubei has raised these children from a very early age. How special for them. Oh, she doesn't seem like she's a fan of that. I don't know when I'll get another chance to talk to you. That's why I wanted to say I'm so sorry for what happened. Oh. No need. It wasn't your fault. It's all Teremi's doing. Come on, let's not get all soap opera on the folks at home. Besides, you're here, so I can give you hints on how to reach the true ending. Not open a rusty-ass can of worms. I... I see. Both Luna and Senna are good children at heart. They're just at that rebellious age, that's all. Please, don't be too hard on them. Giving them the belt might knock them right out of that rebellious age, <laughs> but whatever. I blame the old man. He sucked at child-rearing back in the day, and he sucks at it now. That's not true. He did a fine job. Yeah. On who? On uh, who do you think? Luna and Senna are fine examples. But I was thinking of the accomplished woman standing in front of me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He never taught me anything worth oh. knowing. Bad examples were the only ones he ever provided. <laughs> oh, she's blushing. We haven't seen that yet. Interesting. Very interesting. Who says bad examples cannot be learned from? <laughs> Let's just leave it at that, hmm? Well then, I suppose I'll let the children take over again. <laughs> just the way she falls over. Gosh, did we randomly fall asleep again? Oh, there's not something wrong with us. 
Nah, you're fine. You were sleeping so soundly, I couldn't even bring myself to kick you again. Sure. Not at all because you just ran out of time. You were watching us sleep? Let us out of here, you freak! Okay, maybe you should kick them while they're awake. Okay, okay. If you want to get to the true ending, you have to follow Jubei's orders, alright? Simple enough. We do whatever Master Jubei tells us anyway, so there! We're done. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. <laughs> get out of here! Kids these days. Jeez. Thanks, Kokonoe. Oh, that was fun. Alright, now we gotta start Relius's uh, story. Oh man, finally, right? <laughs> uh, how am I gonna make the thumbnail for this one, I wonder? <laughs> Alright, uh, story Relius, let's go. Darkness visible. Darkness visible. Ooh, pretty. The midnight breeze grazes the man's cheek ever so slightly. And he opens his eyes. This... This is... The man lay upon his back and gapes up at the sky, his head throbbing. His limbs feel strange to him. They may as well not be there. He's, ab he's abdicated control of his body, or so it appears. The man is here, and not here. He lets the paradox wash over him. His groggy brain struggles to summarize his condition. It's as though... As though he doesn't have a firm grasp of it on his own existence. His memory is no less hazy than his sense of motor control. Where he is, or when, or who, he had answers to none of these questions. Hmm... Let's disrobe this mystery one layer at a time. I am... Ah, yes. I am Relius Clover. Okay. The reacquisition of his name is a minor coup. Relius lifts his head, scans the area... Lifts his head, scans the area, ignoring the pain in his skull as well as he can. He looks around for anything that might clue him in to where he is. No. I'm doing it out of order. First, I must ascertain what I was doing and how I got here. Hmm. His memories slowly return to him. It was slow, difficult work. Like staring into a puddle of oil and trying to separate the colors from one another. Yes. Yes, that's right. Ayatsuki Shuichiro and I were trying to affect events beyond the gates of Shio. Hmm. And then what? Black. Darkness. Consuming me. Hmm. Really struggling not to make a joke about Arakune right now. And then... No matter how fervently he concentrates, Relius can't remember what happened after that. He recognized that can't is a misnomer. The information exists somewhere in his mind. Remembering it is possible. But he can't keep up with the sheer number of memories speeding down the slopes of his consciousness like an avalanche of data. There's more information in Relius Clover's head than any three men could hope to process in a lifetime. <laughs> now this... This is interesting. Relius began to smile in spite of his present dilemma. Or perhaps because of it. He's never experienced anything like this. It's exhilarating. Fun, even. He stands within his mind, nearly buried in a sea of fragmented facts. He pieces them together, bit by tiny bit. He's never done it before. He shouldn't even it shouldn't even be possible. 
Aurelius cobbles his vast storehouse of knowledge back together as though he were born for such a task. So that's how... I see. <laughs> Aurelius smiles with each new aspect of the mystery he untangles. He's still not sure how much time has passed since his last clear memory. Suddenly, he realizes the abnormality of his current state. Well, no wonder I couldn't rouse myself. I am a fractured being at present. He sets that fact aside for further consideration and turns his attention to a much more immediate issue, that of his eyesight. His eyes seem to be in a fine physical shape, but he's having trouble seeing. Everything's pouring in as raw visual stimuli. <clears throat> Information stampeding across his optic nerves without benefit of context. Something is indeed amiss in his brain. I wonder what exactly hmm. has transpired here. Yeah, what's going on? Relius whispers to himself in a calm, even tone, as though reviewing a lab report. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. Hazma. Yeah, we knew this was coming. We knew it. There's Hazma, teabagging over Relius' face as he lays back down on the grass. <laughs> Still on his back. Oh my gosh, he is. Oh, yep. Hazma's teabagging him. Cannon. Cannon to the story. Cannon to the game. Still on his back, Relius hears a voice from outside his field of vision. It's a familiar voice. He reaches through the disorder in his head, fingers hooked around the relevant pieces. The man who has just spoken is... Ah, Yuki Terumi. But what do you mean by long time no see? Were we not peering into the cauldron only moments ago? Oh. Terumi uses his old... Use of the old cliché seems at odds with Relius's tenuous grasp of the situation. The cauldron, huh? <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Did I say something amusing? Amusing? <laughs> it's a freaking laugh riot, pal. Aw. <laughs> Who you? No, something is wrong. I'm not working with accurate data. Teremy, where are we? Hmm. You know, I'll be straight with you. I'm a little iffy on that one myself. Another question, then. When are we? Ooh, this one I know. The year of our Lord 2179, give or take. Huh? I see. That is enough for Relius to piece part of the puzzle together. His last memory occurred in 2099, which means about 80 years worth of experimental data is out of order. His interpretation of it is invalid. Relius finally looks in the direction of Teremi's voice. What he sees is not that, not at all, what he had been expecting. Instead of a man, Relius' gazes, gaze falls upon a murky silhouette. Oh! Pardon my saying it, Teremi, but you're not what I was expecting. I suppose it would be folly to ask for a hand up in your current state, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Relius looks forward, up at the moon suspended in the velvety black sky. Something about it is different from all the other times he gazed at it. There's a benevolence to it, as though its rays of light are, blessing, are a blessing freely offered to all the creatures of the earth. It's very pretty. That was a memory from 20 years ago. Oh wow! Relius finds himself muttering the words before he even realizes he's awake. There's a quick rapping on the outside of his office door. Before Relius can respond, the visitor has slipped into the room. I wonder who it is! Sorry to keep you waiting, Colonel Clover. There he is! Hazama, it's you. I usually am. Why? Is something the matter? No, I... I was just organizing some information. Yes, quite. <sighs> you know, the rest of us just call it sleeping on the job. Mm. That said, you're smarter than the average bear, so I guess your brain needs to recharge more frequently. 
If I don't contextualize the contents of my head, I'd be left with chaos. And speaking of sleep, you seem as though you could use a bit more of it. Your face looks so drowsy. Only because you manufactured <laughs> it thus, chum. Oh, wait. He made... He made his body? He made Terumi's body? Or did he just take someone? No, he could have made it. The heck? Possible he made it. Wow. All right, well, good fashion sense. Anyway, how are the preparations coming along? The tablet's already been set in place at the altar. Snug as a bug. And the cocoon? What of it? Not even a hitch. Even found a nice shiny Praetorian guard to act as the catalyst. I've lined up some great souls. Seriously, some real beauts. Gosh, these two are just horrible together. I see. Aurelius is far too smart to believe every single word that fell from Hazuma's lips. He nods at the relevant relevant moments, but his mind is already drifting off to another cli to other climbs. The cocoon is his primary interest. All else is mere detail. I still can't believe that Number Twelve inherited the Azure. It almost beggars belief. Yeah, crazy, right? You mean Noel Vermilion? You know, she's got chops in her own little way. I mean, you saw the distortion from where she was born, yeah? Not too shabby. Hazuma, did you know about this? Of hmm? course not, how could I? How could he? Look at him. He's, he's trustworthy, right? The amount of trust you feel you could put in him, that's accurate. That's the amount of trust you should put in him. It's good. It's 100% good to do that exact amount of trust. And if you don't trust him at all, kick him in the nuts. Simple solution. Azuma deflects the question with a shrug. His serpentine, serpentine grin never wavering. Shit, I thought she was going to evaporate again. Again? Hmm. No matter. What? Hmm. Look at you with your jaded replies. I know you're suspecting something, right? Of course he is. Of course we are. We know who you are. I don't suspect anything, but I don't expect anything either. Ooh, wow. Hedging your bets. Fair enough. Guess there's no point in having you tag along then, since you think we're doomed to abject failure and all. Maybe. Don't put words in my mouth. Whatever emerges, I want to see it with my own eyes. That's fair. Okay, okay. Suit yourself. Captain oh. Hazuma, we're ready for your departure. If you'll follow me to gate three, sir. Got it. You heard the woman. Shall we, Colonel? Always thought that was a weird way to spell Colonel. And here we are. Uh, Relius? Relius? Relius steps off the ship and immediately peers in the direction opposite of that in which Hazuma was starting to walk. It's something the matter. I... I spotted something interesting as we flew in. I'm taking a quick detour to the business district. Alone? Suit yourself. Mm. Just make sure you're not late to the main event, alright? Mm. I'll take that silence to mean... Oh, yes, Hazma. Heck, I'll even be early. Oh, you can take it any way you want. He's gonna be there when he bees there. Hmm? Hmm? Your Colonel Relius Clover oh. from Experimental R and D. What are you doing here? Well, that's not good. And you're the little Yoyoi Fraulein, if I'm not mistaken, which would make that weapon the Izoyoi, yes? Oh no. Yes, sir. Relius looks over, looks her over, taking in the ensemble, the uniform, the shield, and especially the Izoyoi, the legendary sealed arm armigus that has been a treasured heirloom of her family's for generations. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Quite the artifact you wear at your side. Th thank you very much! Hmm... This strange feeling. It's like he's staring through me. Or inside of me. Interesting. A pleasure running into you, but I'm afraid I'm in a bit of a hurry. If you'll excuse me, miss. Tally ho y Yes, uh, of course, sir.
Mere moments have passed since Relius beheld Ezioi, and already his mind is elsewhere. There's something creepy about that man. Yeah. He was looking at me as though I were a thing, not a person. Yeah, he does that. A lot. Do I wish to save? Yes, of course I wish to save. I gotta go later. Anyways, oh my gosh, look at that. I gotta go. Sorry, guys. Looks like a... Uh... Oh, wait. Oops. I don't know what I did. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta go, and um, yeah, we'll pick this up uh, in a bit, yeah, I'll, I'll finish recording this in a bit, okay. Later, Relius. Not at all leaving, because I just don't want to see you anymore. Alright, we are back, one shift and one movie later, we are back. <laughs> I went to see the movie The Strangers, and as you can expect, protagonists are idiots. Anyways. <laughs> Back to the game. Relius makes his way to the business district amid the lower level of Kagutsuchi. Oh yeah, and one night of sleep later too. The object for which he's looking should be nearby. But it's nowhere in sight. Strange. Very strange. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, so here we have two options. One is the joke ending. But... We're playing Relius, and we're not going to have anything good happen for him this time. Not this time. <laughs> so, we're just going to go in and go with the first one. Could have sworn it was around here somewhere. The Seether. It's rather dense in this area. His brain is playing host to more incoming data than usual. And having to sort out the wheat, uh, wheat from the chaff or chafe is a waste of his cognitive abilities. Sorry, I just woke up like half an hour ago. <laughs> Give me a second, okay? Give me a second. Relius recognizes this flaw, but can do nothing about it. He is a man who has seen and experienced much in his lifetime. Having too much to think about is a problem hardly worth raising an eyebrow over. As his eyes skim the er area, a, per a particular building catches Relius's attention. And voila. Voila! Wait, what? Uh, okay? Do you wish to save? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Who do you think I am? Someone who knows what's going on? The museum displays the fossil of dinosaurs, the undisputed rulers of the planet in ages past. Rolius stops at an area that's slightly more spacious than those around it in front of a particularly large fossil. He's found what he's been looking for! Who's there? Oh, hi, Tager. You're an imitation phenomena weapon, yes? Mm. Kokonoe's fingerprints are all over you. And you're the Beastkin. Makoto Nania. Makoto Nania, best squirrel! <gasps> you're... Damn it. Really? It's been far too long, Kokonoe. Hi, Kokonoe. I, I promise I'm only playing him just to get through his story, okay? So you're Relius Clover. Colonel, what are you doing here? Uh, I can explain. Oh my gosh, I forgot how short Makoto's skirt was. How could I forget that? Gosh. Stand back, miss. Tager assumes a fighting stance, but Relius continues to appraise him as though he's some rare insect. Oh, you dick! This creature seems rather composed, but deep within its heart, I sense... Ah, yes. Rage. Oh. A natural enough response, as, Tager, as Tager's in the presence of the man that all but slaughtered his entire team a while back. Oh my gosh! What? Tager's fists clenched even tighter. He hunkers down, ready to spring into action. Vengeance flickers in his eyes. Oh, that's right, with Kokonoe and the whole, uh, when, like, New 13 was a thing, or, uh, no, 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 it was, uh, Nirvana, Nirvana, there we go. It was Nirvana. Gosh. Relius stares at Tager. He doesn't speak. Doesn't blink. Hmm? 
Kokonoi's orders cut through the dre deadly silence. Silence, jeez. This man is a menace, Kokonoi. Taking him out here and now is doing the world a favor. He's too dangerous. Just get the hell out of there. Now! Don't make me say it again! I mean, Tager isn't wrong, but Koke... Koke? Kokonoe is very, very correct. It would be best to get out of there. Roger. Disengaging. If you think I'm letting you waltz on home, you're very much mistaken. What? Hmm? Hmm? Oh! Relius never has a chance to complete his threat, for a large magic circle appears directly in his path. Teleportation! Splendid! What fancies will the circle yield this time? What's... what the... Oh my gosh. It, it's no way! There's no... there's no way it's impossible! Kokonoe found out a way to provide Tager the perfect power boost that he needed in order to win this fight! Oh my gosh! It's the ultimate turkey sandwich buff! It's impossible! I can't believe it! She figured out a way to scientifically create the perfect turkey sandwich! Well, there goes that plan. Time to run, Tiger. A little girl shimmers into being. Oh. Teleportation complete. Activating. Activating. Zero margin of error from intended destination. Hey, good job! You appear to be number 11, but you're different somehow. You're no mere phenomena weapon imitation. Nope. Target detected. Confirming directive. Now switching to combat mode. Oh, okay. There's no magic afoot, as far as I can sense, but it's very stable, very solidly built. Ah! Huh? Hands off, pal! I'm not that kind of girl! I beg your pardon? What's going on? Stop squirming! We need to get the hell out of oh. here! Oh, oh, that's what's happening. Tigger's trying to pick up Makoto. Okay. Like, wait, what's going on? Is this... Is this part of a secret ending I haven't unlocked yet? <laughs> no, he's just trying to pick her up to get out of there. Relius catches Tager and Makoto's hasty threat out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> oh, hasty retreat! Oh, okay, but he ca he can't be bothered to care. Like, um, okay. Have fun, you two, I guess. All the other, all other stimuli are but mere distractions compared to the girl standing before him. What a curious being you've cobbled together, Kokonoe. Uh-huh. Comes complete with an idea engine. Not that that term means anything to you. Lambda, neutralize this lost soul with extreme prejudice. Dun, 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 dun. In the name of Murica, do it. I was intending to test this out on that other simulacrum of yours, but this should prove equally interesting. Okay, uh, you know what time it is, everybody. Time for Pump Squash to look at the command menu. Look at, look at the controls. Weird. Wow. Monos. Oh my oh, god, ow! Oh. Unleashes there's a powerful single blow? Well, we have to do that now, don't we? Powerful barrage of attacks upon the enemy. Oh wait, what, what was it again? Uh, half circle back, lunge forward. I don't think that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> but I'll take it, I guess. Uh-huh. Impossible. It's completely possible. Just Relius sucks. We hate him. Yes, Kokonoe. The result from back then. Detonator Ignis. Oh, yikes. Okay then. You twisted bastard. Lambda, return. She's not a Pokémon. Returning. Magic Circle appears once again, a visible warping of time and space. Damaged from the fight, Lambda vanishes into it. Rarely has a test yielded such bountiful results. Many thanks, Kokonoe. Mm. Anytime, asshole. You're not the only one who's just learned a thing or three. 
So, we're hmm. no longer operating in Izoyoi's shadow then. Um, Colonel Relius, where are you right now? Oh, uh, right, forgot about him. I thought I still had some time left, Hazama. Is that not the case? You've got plenty. I was actually just calling to see if you could run a little errand for me, provided you're still down in the lower levels. <sighs> no, we will not go to Chick-fil-A for you. They're pretty much closed tomorrow anyways. We can't go today. I... It, yes, they're still open today, but... I just don't want to go get food for you, okay? I just don't like you, okay? I don't want to get you food. Ah. Do you wish the save? Of course I do. What do I look like? Someone that doesn't like Chick-fil-A? Of course I do. <laughs> A little errand, he calls it. And what's this errand? There is a sewer system- Okay, Arakune. <laughs> There's a sewer system that exists beneath even the deepest points of the Kaka village. Kaka is Spanish for poop. And Relius is heading straight into it. At Hazuma's request. A man of science has made these dank tunnels his home. If one can believe it. A man Hazuma would like Relius to investigate. And perhaps even retrieve. I'm sure you two will get along, Hazma had said, leaving the colonel even less enthusiastic about this quest. Wending his way through the pathways that would confound a lesser man, Relius enters an area particularly thick with Seether. Yeah, there he is. Do I have... Oh. Okay. Boop. There we go. Azure, where is the Azure? Give it to me. Azure, Azure, Azure. This is not it. I've been debated. Well, I will dab out of here and back into my hip hop career. Wait, what? That's right. There's, for some reason, a purple haired girl there too that is from a book club from high school, but my gosh, she definitely has the chops to make it. What's, what's going on? Cross promotion. That's what's going on. Uh, 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 okay. What's going on? Let's just say literature isn't her only favorite pastime. Okay, that's enough. Let's get back to the game. Is this abomination my target? I see. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. This crazy one deems me crazy. <laughs> You're one of Kokonoe's assistants, I take it. How did you know? <laughs> no, not a Coco Kokonoe. Come on, Arukuna. You're a scientist. Don't embarrass us like this. Ah. Drank too deep of the Boundary's heady brew, yes? You're more ambitious than I thought. Carmine, was it? Mm. You, you, you're right. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. You remember me. Given how prodigious an effort that must require, I'm flattered. You are doubtlessly the one I'm after. You're nothing but a fool who lost his sense of self by getting too close to the boundary. I'm disappointed, Hazama. Remember, I remember you. He wants you for reasons I cannot fathom. It is pointless to resist. Eat a dick. Hey, he said it. Yeah, eat a dick, Relius. Oh, uh, it's gonna suck because I'm the one that's fighting. <laughs> oh my gosh, we lost. Oh, what a shame that Relius is gonna be eaten. Man, the world is really gonna lose something. Hurry up and eat him, Marakune. Re Relius. Relish you. I'm calling you Relish now. We're calling him Relish now, guys. The seemingly boneless creature slowly absorbs Relius into its murky center, like an amoeba 
absorbing its prey. So, I am to pass through the boundary once again. <coughs> Interesting. Yep. However, Relius falls to his knees, even though he's being eaten alive, but refuses to acknowledge defeat. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. okay. The will of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action. What say Yes. Oh, I didn't do st distortion finish again. Darn it. There we go. I don't think we need me to read that to know you to what he, know what he's saying. Phantom, I rather suspected you'd appear. Oh. Oh. I future character I forgot the name of. I would love to go spelunking through this thing's soul, but I suppose we shouldn't keep Hazama waiting. Probably not. The words are hardly out of Relius' mouth when his body is engulfed in bright light, and he vanishes. Oh, looks like Arakune is about to go to... About to go to Chick-fil-A on his own. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Have fun, Arakune! What the? Here? Hmm? Relius' brow furrows. There's no sign of Phantom or Hazuma. Or the unfortunate creature he just subdued. Wherever Relius has ended up, he alone has been brought here. An intervention of some sort? Yeah, you have a real problem. You have like 50 problems that we can name off the top of our heads, but we're not going to get into that. We don't have that kind of time. Relius takes in his surroundings. The boundary? Something like that. There is a barrier sealing his space off from the rest of existence. Even Phantom couldn't reach this place. Only a few beings known to man could have worked a maneuver of this complexity. Not only has he been sent somewhere totally impregnable, but he's he was also rerouted to the midst of being teleported elsewhere. In the midst of being teleported elsewhere, sorry. Pondering this, Relius knows full well whom he should expect to find here. What do you want of me? Observer. Huh? Wait, Rachel? Rachel? Rachel Alucard emerges from the shadows as though is in silent reply. This is no longer a play in which you should interfere, Relius Clover. Leave the stage at once. Yeah, that's right. Interfere? You slander me, child. I've only come to enjoy the show. What are your intentions towards Noel Vermillion? Mm. That thing was supposed to be incomplete. Yet here she is, the successor of the Azure. Was my interest not to be piqued? How I should love to dissect it, re-examine every uh, inch of its architecture. Oh my gosh. Rather extreme, don't you think? You're one to talk, Rachel Alucard. Putting the Tsukuyomi unit into play like you did. That is none of your concern. Suzunoo, which slashes time, and Tsukuyomi, which protects it. Hmm. Whoa! Oh. Still your tongue, villain, lest you tempt me to do it in your stead. She did not like that. One bit. Oh my gosh. The temperature drops several degrees as a threat and as the threat in Rachel's words chill the very air itself. He's like, mm, I, I believe that I have made a mistake in my sentence. You misheard me. I didn't mention Susano and Tsukiyomi uh, from from here. It's a uh, per, per, persona, persona, the video game series. You know, the, the persona, it's a very, very good series. You know, uh, 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 before our time, I, I t please don't kill me. <laughs> Relius doesn't have to be a scientific genius to know what's going to happen next. He's about to lose the ability to have any more kids. There's no point in the two of us fighting, Observer. You know the rules by which this game is played. Better than you, I dare say. I'm merely looking to pass the time. So, Sarah, may I have this dance? Oh, boy. 
Rachel could be scary for a small vampire lolly. She definitely could. Enjoy my safe. I'm trying to learn his controls and I keep forgetting distortion finishers. Observer, how long do you intend for us to trade these meaningless blows? I have grown rather bored of it. I suppose I'm done. How about you tell me what you're waiting for, in exchange for my having humored you? Hmm... It is a bad habit to slay every last mystery, you know. It's good. You know, curiosity killed the cat. Maybe curiosity will kill the relish. Maybe. Hopefully. Fair enough. I accept your words of wisdom. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. The time has come, it seems. What? <laughs> What? You were sufficient entertainment, I suppose. Now, if you'll excuse me. And not a moment too soon, you monster. Hmm? The moment Rachel teleports away, the impregnable barrier has, that it surrounded them disappears. With the barrier gone, Relius senses a new presence nearby. Oh. Oh, and this is where we get the option for canon ending. Or the ending we're going for. I think this is it. I should. I shall have my comeuppance on that pre preening vampire. Do you wish to save? Of course I do. What do I look like? Someone who doesn't want to save. Well, it's plot twist time. No saving. I cannot permit the that imperious girl to thwart me in, as she pleases. I cannot permit that imperious girl to thwart me as she pleases. Thankfully, she left the barrier down when she left, making it possible to follow. Relius summons Phantom, ready to pursue the vampire. Oh. Teleport me to Castle Alucard, now. Wow. Really, uh, really going for a day? Why settle for but one dance when the night is still so young? Let's see this through to the end. Oh my gosh, I wonder if anything bad will happen. Only one way to find out. <sighs> oh, well she did not expect that, now did she? I simply could not stay away, princess. How dare you set foot in my domain! Yeah, that's that's actually kind of creepy, just... Oh, I could not stand to stay away from you, princess. After she just went home, like... Come on! That's creepy to say that! Frankly, I tire of you observers always getting in my way. I thought it'd be best to rid myself of such baggage while I can. Wouldn't you agree? Dude, you, you seriously need the police called on you. The police above your police. Even she's disgusted. Rachel feels a great unease at the sight of his this sudden, uninvited guest within her castle grounds. And his words, though genial on the face, coarse with malice and creepiness. No one could possibly teleport into her castle, yet here Relia stands. Rel Rachel steals her nerves and smooths her ruffles, ready for the fight. What do you say I lead this time? Ignis lunge dashes towards Rachel, hunkered low to the ground, closing the distance in the bleak of an eye. Her claws slash towards Rachel's delicate neck. Flustered as she is, Rachel ducks away a moment too late. It is a mistake that costs her life, or would have... Valkenhayn! Are you injured, milady? Valkenhayn, coming for the save! N no Valkenhayn. Many thanks. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Take that, Relish. The old man glares at Relius through clear eyes that belly his age. Uh... Are both his eyes open or just one? I don't know. He parried Ignis' killing blow with the same exertion it takes him to set out tea. Which is to say, none at all. Oh ho ho ho! Relius Clover. Or do these weary eyes deceive me? Oh, that looks so cool. 
Oh, ho, ho. Oh, you're approaching me. So good. Valkenhayn R. Helsing. It's been, what, nearly a century? Or even longer, yes? I'd heard the tales, but to see hmm. you in the flesh, I can hardly believe it. Yeah. <laughs> to think that you yet draw breath in the same timeline as I. Our little play boasts quite the ensemble cast. The gods have a sense of humor, it seems. <laughs> Could you imagine? Imagine he's just like, I'll show you a sense of humor, are you an orphan? Uh, I, I don't think so, no. I knew my parents, so no. Oh, okay, well, there goes my orphan power boost. <laughs> Wait, wait, orphan power boost? Yeah, whenever I'm fighting an orphan or kicking an orphan, I get like a 15% power boost for some reason. I don't know. It's just, to get, to, I don't know, genetics or something? I don't know, maybe I just don't like orphans. Maybe I need to go to therapy. Uh, what do you think? Do you go to therapy? <laughs> what, what's therapy? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, you, you actually don't know where it is? Oh man, you may actually need some therapy now. That would, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> They have a deep talk about therapy and, like, actually going. They go to the therapist and it's just like, Ah, yes, I have determined that you both kind of suck, except you. Valkenhayn, you're pretty awesome. I'm talking about you, Elias Clover. You suck enough for two people, therefore I'm referring to you as two people. I don't know what that voice is, okay? I don't know what it is. I'm just making dumb comments. <laughs> okay, well... Relish needs, uh, Relish needs therapy. We know that for sure. Uh, moving on. How good of them, giving us this chance some hundred years on to trade fists. Madam Rachel, may I be so bold as to fight this duel in your stead? Please do. Suit yourself. I tire of his audacity. Yes, of course. Ah, yes. I can feel the beast awakening within you. It's just like the good old days. Come, Valkenhayn, shed my blood if you can. Do it. I mean to sever this relationship, Relius Clover, and whatever else of yours I can lay hold of. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy! Oh yeah, that's that's. Oh gosh, that's scary. Forget kicking him in the nuts. He's gonna full on make it so he doesn't have anything to kick. That's scary. The will fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Exustio. Oh, okay. It's just a punch. That makes sense, I guess. Machina. Ulti move. Oh. On guard. Machina. Machina. There we go. Dear me. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. There's one left we have to do. Duo Bios. Okay. Oh my defense, his lordship. Ah, uh, I thought he would be left with just a sliver. Turns out it was oh. one sliver too few. R Relish. Bastard. Valkenine falls to one knee. The other shattered and used- Oh my gosh! Shuddering with pained gasps, he lashes out at Relius. Relius looks down at the bloodied wreck of a man he's battled so many times over the years and lets slip one morrow sigh. I suppose no one can escape the chill winds of old age. Not even the six heroes themselves. Damn your eyes, Relius! When your soul reaches hell, do give Clavis my regards. Clavis? Ignis hoists one gigantic arm to the sky, ready to end Valkenhayn's long and storied life. Rachel looks on, unable to save her manservant. No. Ignis drops her arm like a savage guillotine. <gasps> I see. So this is how it is, then. Yes! There stands before Valkenhayn, a man clad all in white. It is Hakumin, one of the six heroes. 
Relius backs away several paces, Ignis following suit. The Susanoo unit. Yeah, that's right. Two against two seems like a much fairer fight. I trust you've no objections. This is not your battle, Hakumen. It is now. I summoned him here. Very nice, sir. Madam Rachel, I... You are old, Valkenhayn, and wise. But I am master of this house. That's right. Quite right, my lady. My apologies. My apologies, please. Forgive me for having a say and you keeping me from... Actually, what I'm saying, you gotta go for it. Kill this guy. What a heartwarming exchange. Even if she can't be bothered to even your odds herself. What's the matter? Decided to act like a proper observer all of a sudden? You misunderstand me. I said this would be a fairer fight. I did not say the odds were even. That's right. They're gonna beat you. Indeed. Fighting two of the six heroes will prove a challenge. Even for me. Perhaps I should let her take care of the Observer. Who are you meaning? Her. Relius stares into Rachel's eyes with smug defiance, as though she is one of the one at the disadvantage instead of him. Intervene too much. I knew it. Teleportation magic? A mage? Don't tell me it's her. Did she take Rachel? Wait! Valkenhayn, that mage, could it really have been? To even ponder it is a knife to the heart, but yes. Hmm. Oh, she's still there. No, she took Relius. Okay, okay. Okay. The Imperator is almost here. I must prepare for her arrival. Relius walks away, deep in thought once again. Valkenhayn, you spry old wolf. Did I actually yearn for that victory? <laughs> I have more to learn than I thought. The thoughts slipping away as quickly as it came, as Relius's mind returns to the matter at hand. What exactly will he observe next? That's it? Oh. Okay. Um. Come to my aid, Professor Kokonoe. Oh, okay. I don't know why, I expected worse actually, I really did. Okay. Greetings, lost. Yeah, I yeah, I've been through this before. Well, to be honest. Just get this guy in here and hit him with your bag of Doritos or something, I don't know. You're obviously a gamer girl for sure. Enchanté. I already don't like him. <laughs> the masked freak. Awesome. Relius Clover at your service, Professor Kokonoe. You must have confused me with someone else, though I can't fathom how. Relish. Perhaps the wiring in your brain is amiss. My brain is wired to forget the names of folks I'd love to punch in the nuts. Nothing amiss about that. Yes! She said it! She said the thing! An interesting augmentation. Apropos of nothing, where are we? Mysterious room, paradise, sad little lost children, Avalon! Seriously, guys, I've said that opening spiel about a million times now. Pay attention! In this room, I'm the queen. You do as I say, buddy. That's right. That's right, she said it. My gosh. <laughs> Screw you, you smug little bugger. Screw you. Don't. What, what are you doing? An interesting space you've managed to craft. I must analyze its architecture. Ignis. No. No, don't you dare. Hey. Keep your tape measure to yourself. I'm in charge here. A bit of silence, please. <laughs> These measurements must be precise. Just the slap, just... <laughs> Why am I letting...
letting you hush me, damn it! Don't boss me around, creeper! <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm hmm. He really is kind of creepy, isn't he? <sighs> Snap. Hey! I'm talking to you! There's no need to scream, woman. I'm not deaf. So you're acting like it. <sighs> Uber snap! That is it! I'm gonna give you your damn advice to get you to the true ending and evict your smarmy ass ASAP! Do it! Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Uh. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Well, speak. I don't have all day. You actually do in here. Uh. Ah! Uber Mecha Ultra Snap, oh my gosh. How is it possible for someone to get on my nerves so much? Do I really have to give you advice? Oh, this sucks! My gosh! Very well. I'm not about to force it out of you. It's almost as bad as when she was comparing sizes. Mm. Hmm. This is the part where you fall to your knees and beg! I can't leave here without your sage advice! Please, oh sagacious oh my gosh. Kobe, no Let your pearls of wisdom rain down upon my ignorant brow! She's really annoyed. Rather gauche, but I can't deny your logic. All right, proceed with the giving of advice. My blood pressure's gotta be off the friggin' charts right now. That doesn't sound like advice. Will you just shut up? <laughs> Calm, girl. This is your magical, timeless room. You're in charge. Stop being such a shit heel on the daddy front, yeah? That cute little son of yours deserves better. There. That's your hint. Not sh I'm not sure if that's a good hint, but... It, it's, it's, you know what? No, never mind. It's the perfect hint. Bravo. Bravo. Perfect hint. Good job. Hmm. Hmm. Cute little son. Oh my gosh. You, you're kidding, right? Um. Your son? Carl? Come on, what the hell's wrong with you? Oh, Carl. Hmm. He is indeed my oh son. Oh my gosh. Right you are. Carl, you poor little bastard. No wonder he's so screwed up. Fair enough. I suppose the progeny could use a bit of affection every once in a while. Every once in a while? Get him out of here. I presume we're done here. Don't worry about the social niceties, Professor. I'll see myself out. Please do. If I never see that idiot again, it'll be too soon. Well, that was an experience. Acquired pea money. Cool. Alright, well, that was a thing. How much do we have? Okay, we have a decent amount. Probably unlock some stuff in the gallery. My gosh, that was crazy. Uh, okay, well, that was... Apparently, that was the bad end, apparently. Illustration contest. Man. What the heck is this? <laughs> what the Okay. Yeah, why not? Oops. Oh, 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 boy, oh, boy. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Jeez. Alright, well, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, cool, I guess. Oh I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going on with that. And I gotta look through this gallery, maybe I'll do that. How high does the level go? 20? Wow, that's fairly high level. But maybe I'll look through this gallery once we're all done, like do a bonus episode of just the gallery stuff. That would be fun, right? Yeah, that would be a lot of fun, why not? Wait, oh my gosh, this is expensive. Oh, but I think I could afford to do all this with the in-game currency we got. What is this? Additional content unlimited. These just... Oh, these are like alternative skins and stuff like that. Oops. There we go. Everything... Oh my gosh, there's still so much! Alright, well, I guess later on or something. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. What did you think of that story? I thought it was interesting. He's... I think he's an interesting character. I'm not saying he's a 
character I want to root for or anything, to be honest. He he's interesting in his own right. I don't think anything good will come out of him being here, but that's kind of just standard at this point. But that's neither here nor there. We'll, we'll go ahead and see where his story goes next time. Because, of course, this episode is probably long enough. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot of footage. I'm gonna have to sort it through. What the heck? That's... Yep, that's long enough. Okay. Gosh. Uh, we have close to about two hours of footage. No. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video with the content within. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. And if you want to have notifications of future uploads just like this one, come straight to Stay Go Live. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a Squatchkin today. Anyways, guys, it the story is really good. The universe is really good. I just wish that Relish wasn't in it. You know, I just. I just don't like him being here. Yeah, yeah, um... Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I have no other words. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. And as always, I am Pump Squatch. Oh my gosh, I think, I think his story gave me a headache. I really do. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I am Pump Squatch. Goodbye. I don't think I even like relish. I don't even like the food relish, so it works out perfectly. Goodbye!